So this is my modular egg turner, this one. Right now it's set to turn the eggs every 16 seconds, but of course with this cycle timer you can just set it to 15 minutes, an hour, or 99 hours, whatever you want. It's got that flexibility. I fitted it with a single pull double throw switch here, so you can either turn it off or reverse direction. So you can always get it, get the X to the center position. I've built a couple of these, um, but now I'll take it apart so you can see what's inside. So this is the inside of the unit. Right here, two micro switches that gets actuated by these two plywood blocks I mounted on this coupler nut. I fit it onto the shaft of the motor. So you can see it rotates and then hits the switch. So you can see I put a small set through screw in the side of the block so I can rotate it around the coupler nut so I can adjust how much tilt the motor should have, which makes it yeah, infinitely adjustable within 360 degrees, of course. As you can see here, here's the motor, that's the common, and on the outsides, the two directions. If you send power through this, it goes clockwise, through this, counterclockwise. And from that, it goes through the micro switches, through the micro switches, one side goes to the normally closed, through the micro switch, one side goes to the normally open. And that's basically all it is. Now I'll just show you how it works with the coupler nut. With this particular unit, what makes it modular is the fact you can just pull it out. In this case, I've replaced one of these manual handles. You stick into this and then you tilt it with that. Here I just stuck a piece of threaded rod in here rounded flat so I can replace the handle with this just slide it in and it works a treat but again you can see it's just a threaded rod with a jam nut on it and you can replace the threaded rod with anything you want so here's another version same concept just this time it's made out of plexiglass and an old IKEA galvanized IKEA shelf. So here you can see I've just fit a yeah, small piece of board on the end of the on the coupler nut that's in here. So this way you can just hook up some kind of shaft or even a string to make it either tilt those tilting egg trays or hook it up to a coop door. If you made this like 10 inches long you'd have a 20 inch throw and it can lift it out here it can lift about four pounds even if it's uh, 10 inches long so the way the coupler nuts I took one of these and I just drilled a small hole in one end and then I threaded on the shaft in this particular instance I took put in a piece of all thread chucked it up in my drill press and ground off the bottom half so I had a round spot with the ankle grinder while I was in the drill chuck. So that's the way I did it, but now I'll show you how I can take this apart. You can just unscrew this nut. And then you have the, the threaded the threaded hole there. So in that you can put a plywood disc if you wanted to. So you had a circle and you wrap the string around the side to make it lift anything. As you see now you can see the mechanism clearly. Two pieces of plexiglass slid onto that smooth part of the coupler nut at ground. And once again they're tapped in the side so you can rotate them freely so you can decide where to hit the two micro switches. So here it's much more simple to see how it works. Once again, it goes from, there's one common in the middle and the two 
power sockets, the two faces on each side. One goes through one micro switch, the other goes through the other. And then each side goes to this module, in this case. It goes to one side normally open, the other side normally closed. One side normally open, one side normally closed. And then of course the power comes in from the wall. This module is actually ex excellent. It's such a good cycle timer, it's called the FRM01. It does take a wall ward, a 12 volt power supply to power the board, but it can handle, I think, 10 amps at 220 volts, so I guess that would be 20 amps US. So that works. Now I'll show you how I used the same motor in my chicken coop for a quick and dirty coop door opener. So this is the quick and very dirty setup I made because I had brooders jump into the nesting boxes and making a mess every night. So I made this this nesting box closing mechanism. And once again, we have the motor up there, the two, the common and the two sides that reverses the direction goes from there. Back here to one micro switch up there and another micro switch down there. And this little block that goes up and down actuates them. From the micro switches, it goes to this. This is a timer. But this, as you can see here, has got a normally open and normally closed side. So that's important. You can't just Either that or you have to have two timers, which I see a lot of Americans use. But that's it. This just tells it when to open or close. I can just demonstrate really quickly how it works. So now it's lowering, lowering, lowering. As you can see here, a small plywood block. just goes down. And actuates the lower one and stops it. And again, when the timer clicks to open, of course, it opens it up again. The reason for the X head is because if a chicken got stuck underneath, it didn't, there wasn't enough weight to actuate the, the limit switch. So here, once again, small block goes up. and actuates the top limit switch. The limit switch above that is like just to the to the common because if, if something goes wrong this shuts everything off. And once again you can see same concept the coupler not here threaded oh, or inserted over this shaft uh, set screw to hold it in place and in this case I just put a washer and a bolt on the outside and use it to wind up strings. So it's a very, very flexible system. Yeah, that's it.